you've worked with so many incredible actors mm -hmm. out there, but when I think about Nicole Kidman, it's just like the top of oh. the top, and I would be absolutely terrified to be in her presence. So is there an intimidation <laughs> factor at all, or do you just um, jump on set and get to it? You know what's... Um, I mean, that's a, that's a totally legitimate question, but I have to say with Nicole, um, what's so interesting about her is she makes relationships with directors before she works with them. And so um, I was somebody that after – we had met ages ago um, for Eon Flux, my second film, and she wasn't available, but we just had a nice meeting. And then I would say – 10 years later, after I'd made the invitation, she was like, I just like your movies. I want to meet with you. And so we met just to talk and chat about kind of what we were up to. And so by the time she got the script for Destroyer, it was kind of like we already had been in touch and had a relationship. And so it was just a lot easier to have a creative conversation. And, um, and she's very... Um, open to she needs the director's kind of steering of a project and a character she wants to know where is this headed i need you through the process and that just makes it so much easier mm. because it means we're in a partnership from the beginning do you ever revisit your own stuff um let's see i feel like maybe three or four years ago draft house um did Alamo did like a thing with Jennifer's body, and so I saw mm -hmm. it again for the first time in, you know, whatever seven years or something. Um, but there's so there's something for me that isn't. It's not that it's painful to look mm -hmm. and to watch my movies again, but I've just come to a place where making movies for me is first and foremost this present based in the moment process and then I let it go and so like I it's been a long time it's been almost 20 years probably since I've seen girl fight wow yeah yeah since I made it that seems like the healthier psychological way to <laughs> approach that than to keep them with you for your whole life yeah you know? I mean I think it's funny I feel like after making girl fight and feeling like it was just such a whirlwind of an experience to finally make it and finally get it out into the world I was a little bit like done with mm -hmm. getting it out in the world, so I didn't revisit it. After making Eon Flux, I was like, why would I watch that movie again? <laughs> it's this like abomination that has nothing to do with me. But you know, that might be one of those movies that's interesting to see again, just because it's like, huh, <laughs> you know, that worked, that really didn't work. Oh, I wasn't wrong there. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. um, it might be interesting to look at sort of the, the weird um, shapes that your movies take.